Stop. Don't move any further. Look there in the distance. Huh? Where? Oh, look! Those plants have withered! That whole area is kinda gloomy. Even the air looks like it's filled with ash. Oh, Paimon doesn't like the look of this. That is the withering. All right, Traveler. We're going to have to enter that withering zone. Once inside, we'll need to look for what we call Tumors of the Withering. If we eliminate those, then the area will be saved. Thank you, but I must warn you. Don't push yourself. This is your first time handling this sort of thing, after all. Even with elemental powers, once you step inside the withering zone, you may experience extreme discomfort. If at any point it becomes too much, return outside the zone and take a breather. It could become a matter of life and death. You ready then? Let's go. We did it! Everything's returning to normal now! Yes, thanks to you two. We were able to quickly restore this area back- Um, Tainari? You make it sound like we did well, but why does Paimon have the feeling you're worried about something? It's that obvious, huh? All right, it's like this. Recently, the rate at which the withering zone appears has been increasing. Even though we were able to quickly clear that withering zone, it won't be long before another one appears. If that simply meant more work for me, then that wouldn't be an issue. But it's far more severe than that. The withering is leaving lasting effects on the rainforest itself. For instance, even though we cleared out the withering zone, many of the plants that were affected will not recover. This presents a crisis for the ecosystem itself. Many plants in the rainforest are already in decline, directly impacting the wildlife that depends on those plants. And most disturbingly, as the appearances of withering zones have started to increase, Kale's case of Elazar has also become more serious. Huh? Well, why is that? I'm still not sure of the exact reason. However, I've received word from acquaintances at the Academia that similar cases are being reported for patients with other conditions. No, none that we know of. The withering has been recorded in Sumeru for millennia. It's said that it originates from the depths of the world. By the way, have you heard of Ermansol before? Ermansol is a tree located deep beneath the surface, although it isn't like any tree we know in a biological sense. You can basically think of it as a large tree that grows downwards rather than upwards. I'm sure you've heard of ley lines, right? They're like the roots of Ermansol, spreading and extending from a massive cavern deep underground all the way up to the surface. Ley lines continually absorb the memories of this world, which are then funneled into Ermansol allowing it to collect knowledge and wisdom from ancient times to present day. The Dendro Archon is known as the God of Wisdom because her consciousness is directly connected to it. It is also said that the Dendro Archon's power is a manifestation of Ermin's soul. And as for the withering, its emergence is related to a disease that's affecting it. That's right. My ancestors learned of this from Greater Lord Ruka Devata's familiars a long time ago. But even those mysterious creatures did not know of a cure for Ermin's soul. I'm afraid we rangers will be battling the withering zones here for a long time until a cure is found. All right, that's enough on this topic for the time being. Now that we've taken care of things here, it's time for us to head back to Gondarbaville. Oh, Tainari, you all made it back. How did it go? The withering zone you reported has been taken care of. No need to worry. Huh. Wait, is that... Oh no, Hapasia! Huh? What's wrong, Tainari? This Duskbird is Hapasia's designated courier for urgent news. You do remember her, don't you? She's the scholar you and Paimon were following when you first arrived in Sumeru. Oh, her? How could we forget? Uh, so did something happen? Let me see what's written in the letter first. Hmm. Oh. So what's it say? And what's with that weird expression on your face? Huh? Uh, all Paimon sees are three squiggly lines. 
Yes, allow me to explain. After we brought you from Hapasia's cave to Gondarvaville, Hapa she must have just finished. It's been nearly three days since she's had anything to eat, and it appears she's forgotten to prepare some rations. This letter is her asking us for help. We need to go. What? You mean she's been sitting there for three days? Hey, wait, how did you know all that from just a few lines on the paper? Well, obviously because this has happened before. Last time she drew five lines, and by the time we found her... <clears throat> well, I'd prefer not to remember that. Needless to say, Hapasia's been through worse, but we should still get to her as quickly as possible. I've got some emergency rations set aside for times like these. Paimon, Traveler, could you two bring these to her? Wait, you want us to bring her the rations? Uh, but will the Traveler be okay if her cave is still filled with that funny incense? Let's find out. Here, Traveler, take a smell and see. So, how do you feel? Huh? Really? You're not feeling even a little drowsy? But, wait, how'd you know that he'd be okay this time? Back when we were clearing the Withering Zone, I observed that he could adeptly manipulate the Dendro element. I knew then that he would be fine. And if I may ask, when I was telling you two about Ermin Soul's ley lines, was what I described similar at all to what you saw while you were unconscious? That's correct. Those weren't hallucinations at all. Though I don't intend to apologize for deceiving you. Because what you saw is of significant importance. Not just for the nation of Sumeru, but the entire world of Tavat. My forefathers were shown much favor by greater Lord Ruka Devata. We took an oath to protect this nation together with her. Now that that duty has fallen to me, it was part of my responsibilities to ascertain whether you could be entrusted with the fate of Sumeru. Now, after seeing you in action with my own eyes, you have earned my confidence, and I no longer feel the need to hide any secrets from you. When you passed out, your consciousness had connected directly with Ermansoul. What you witnessed were actually real memories contained within Ermansoul soul itself. I could try to tell you more, but it would be better if you went to ask Hapasia instead. Her focus on meditation and use of spirit borneol are aimed at establishing a connection with Ermin Soul, just as you did. Uh, that sounds nice and all, but will she really help us? Seriously, she completely ignored us the last time we tried talking to her. That was because when you ran into her, she was in a special phase of her training. During that time, she must avoid communicating with others. Please, wait here for a moment. Here, take these. It's a meal I packed for Hypatia, as well as some other ingredients. I'm sure it'll come in handy. Also, here's a letter that I would like you to give to her. Just show it to her and she'll answer any questions you may have. No. I should be the one thanking you. You've both been a great help these last few days. <laughs> 